In this video, I'm going to show you how to add custom fonts to your Astro Tailwind project using Font Source. So here we're on the Astro Docs, and we're not going to follow these instructions, but we're going to instead follow this set of instructions down here. We're going to run npm install font source. So actually, you could follow these instructions here, which are kind of similar. So we're going to run npm install font source. And as you can see, I have it here. And I also have Tailwind. And then we're going to import the font into our project. So here it is. Import up there. And then we're going to include this into our Tailwind config. So we're going to go back here. We're going to register our font in Tailwind. So here you can see that we're importing the default theme and we're extending our theme and our font family. In this example, it's using the Sans um, font family, but we're going to extend Serif because that's what um, Twinkle Star is. And we could verify that by looking here. It's sans serif, it's twinkle star. So back to this. I already copied and pasted this. So we look in our Tailwind config. This is what the config should look like by default. I'm gonna comment this out. I'm gonna comment this in, save again. We're gonna import the default Tailwind theme and extend our font family and use serif and add the twinkle star font over here. The rest of this should act as a fallback if twinkle star doesn't work. So again, we have that done. Now we're gonna go into our actual project, our markup. We're gonna actually use the serif class on our body. And then let's actually look at this in real time. When we save, it updates. So again, you want to make sure that you have Tailwind installed and your font that you want to use from Font Source installed. Import it, update your config file, and then update your actual markup and use class wherever you need to use it. Hopefully that helped you figure out how to add custom fonts to your Astro Tailwind project. If you found that useful, give it a like. Feel free to leave comments down below if you have any questions or suggestions for other tutorials. Thanks again for watching.